conflict series covering recent major wars and crises including this video's next part subscribe for the full video and to understand why sudan is facing such dire circumstances third war that's just as catastrophic and consequential for the world as these other two that's going on right now in sudan that is nearing its one year anniversary of beginning Sudan has been locked in a devastating civil war ever since April of 2023, when two rival generals commanding two rival armies in the country began openly clashing and firing upon each other's forces in the Sudanese capital, Khartoum. Ever since then, Khartoum, a city that had a pre-war metropolitan population of more than six and a half million- Welcome to Heroes Remembered, where we explore ancient wars, historical education, and fascinating topics that capture our interest subjected to devastating airstrikes, artillery bombardments, armored assaults, and fierce house-to-house -house and street-to-street -street combat. There are some who have even referred to Khartoum now as the Aleppo of Africa, after the biggest city in Syria that was almost completely destroyed by the fighting during the civil war in that country last decade. More than half of Khartoum's pre-war metropolitan population is believed to have fled the area for their lives, as the rival armies clash inside for control. While nationwide, the United Nations estimates that at least 13,000 people have already been killed since the war began, while more than 10.7 million people, or more than one in five Sudanese, have been forcibly displaced from their homes. Nine million of these people are displaced within Sudan's borders, representing the largest internal displacement crisis anywhere in the world right now that's even larger than in Ukraine while roughly 1.7 million more Sudanese have fled the country as refugees, and more are likely to continue following out of Sudan's massive internally displaced population, representing a potential cascading crisis as refugees flee into the already fragile states that surround Sudan, like Libya, Chad, the Central African Republic, South Sudan, and Ethiopia, all countries that are either currently trapped in their own civil wars or have had recent devastating civil wars in the past decade that could become reignited again. And what many of these Sudanese are fleeing from is not only the massive violence being waged between the two rival armies in the country, but a potentially renewed genocide that is ongoing in Sudan's perennially troubled Darfur region. Just last month, in January of 2024, a damning report made to the United Nations Security Council that is considered to be credible concluded that one of the rival armies in Sudan, known as the Rapid Support Forces, or the RSF, systematically massacred somewhere between 10,000 and 15,000 people in just a single city in West Darfur over the summer of 2023, and forcibly drove hundreds of thousands more across the border into neighboring Chad. If that report is accurate, it potentially represents more deaths in just that one city than what the entire nationwide death toll from the war previously stood at, which implies a crisis going on in Sudan that is of a scale far worse than what most outsiders believe or know. The reports coming out of 